Hello everybody and a welcome back to this continuation video. If you recall, if you recall, um, I did the video on, oh, uh, what was it called? Oh, inspiration versus um, consumable. No, inspirational versus consumable. And it was part of the punk philosophy thing going on. And I finished the video, I edited the video, posted the video, and I sat down and started having lunch. And I, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I couldn't stop thinking about that idea. And why it seems like zines have changed. Um, and I finally think I figured it out. And I want to talk to you guys about it. And I want to get your, your ideas about this. And then I want to know what kind of ideas you have. And if the ideas you have are either or. So basically, what I think the difference between zines of yesteryear to zines now are is that the zines of yesteryear were asking questions. They were asking, um, like, do you think this is right? Do you think this is something that should happen? Don't you want to get up and say something? Don't you want to be in the front of this? Don't you have something to say? Don't you want people to hear you? Uh, go ahead and send us a, a letter and we'll um, send you a letter back and we can start a conversation, this whole thing. Now, I feel like the zines are telling you things. And the things they're telling you aren't horribly important, okay? And I don't want to downplay the zines that are being made now because those people are creating and we have to understand that that's an important aspect of any kind of art, the creation. That is the art, the um, inspiration spark and then the making of the art and all that other things. But the, the example here is someone making um, a zine about telling me places that are good to eat at. Um, telling me top 10 movies to watch. Telling me about Korean food. Telling me um, the history of a murder. Telling me um, just telling you things and telling you things that aren't going to change how you feel about anything. They're not telling you things that are important and need an answer today. They're telling you things and it's just popcorn and that's fine. Popcorn is good. That's why it's edible. I just want the record to show I'm not shitting on anybody's art. That's not the idea. But even, I think, like, back, if we go all the way back to Comet, like that first um, sci-fi fanzine, the questions in that might not have been very specific, but the ideas that were in there asked the questions the worlds you went to because that's the one thing that I feel is very different in modern science fiction compared to like the golden age of science fiction golden age of science fiction and um, even like the paperback science fiction that followed right after these brave new worlds or strange new worlds that they were going to they were going there and there was always like a moral there were there was always some societal thing that was being challenged and overcome okay it wasn't always like oh we're in space and that's a monster we're gonna kill it with our gun okay there was like all sorts of politics involved and creation involved and all sorts of other stuff so when you pick up a zine and it's just like a zine about 
how to organize a bookshelf. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, that's... I guess interesting. I have a bookshelf. I have books. I guess I would like to know how to organize a bookshelf. And then you open the zine up, and it's like, hey, I'm not an interior decorator, but this is how I did my bookshelf. And you're like, oh, okay. So this person who is an authority on this topic isn't an authority on this topic, and they're telling you right off the bat that they're not, and that's fine. And again, I do not want to step on the toes of people who were creating, and I'm not talking shit on them. I'm just saying it's different than people making zines, saying, this is happening, we need to stop it. This is happening, how do you feel about that? Let's get together and do something about that. That is a very different beast, you know? And maybe people just don't want to put effort into making art that talks about issues that could be gone. I mean, the news cycle now goes so quick that it seems like you could make a zine about something and in three days um, it's like an obsolete piece of information. But at the same time, like the feminist zines of the 90s, they were going for long chunks because there was always something new to talk about in that arena. You know what I'm saying? Make art. Make zines. Even if you're doing like a blog. Keep creating. Keep doing that thing. But try to throw in every once in a while at least ask questions ask questions that are open ended that make people respond don't just tell people this is how you do this winky face ask questions I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you could run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.